And God said, Let the waters spread flat across the land, and freeze solid and smooth like the palm of the hand. And it was so. God called the frozen water ice, and the land it was on a rink. But he needed warriors for the rink, honorable soldiers with restless resolve and uncanny strength. So God made hockey in Debrecen. He needed fearless men with an undying passion for the game. They needed to be tough but smart, lethal but surgical, aggressive but patient. So God made hockey in Debrecen. The task at hand required hard work and dedication to the process. Men who knew how to wake up, hit the rink, then the gym, then the books, all before lunch, and do it again the next day, and the next day, and the next. So God made hockey in Debrecen. They needed to be selfless, put their team, their fans, and their community before themselves. Sign autographs after a hard-fought loss, or a hundred more after a long-awaited win, all with the same willingness and attention to details. They had to be prepared at all time by battles for the name on the front, not the name on the back. Know the taste of blood, sweat, and tears, and like it. So God made hockey in Debrecen. They had to love what they were doing through thick and thin, for God had created a game that was loyal to no man and kind to few. A game of rhythm, a game of force, a game of effort of nature's due course, a battle worth winning, a stage for the fight. Hockey was born, and God knew it was right. And as the death settled and glimmered on the ice, the chosen few stood ready for the journey of their life. A restless bunch, a powerful team. God needed a team, so God made hockey in Debrecen.